Hawkeye Skunk Works. I am Joe, and without any further ado, welcome to my 2005 Toyota 4Runner, the new Hawkeye Skunk Works mobile. So uh, first off, I, uh, let me apologize that this video is taking so long to get out. Uh, the sun is right in my eyes. But um, the uh, weather has either been awful here in Iowa when I have free time, it's dark, or we're busy. So <laughs> today I finally can get out and take a video uh, introducing you guys to this 2005 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't really know what all to, to tell you about it because I've got uh, videos already coming. I've made two videos already doing some installs on this. Uh, I need to do a full video on kind of like why uh, Toyota 4Runner um, and specifically why this one. Now I can tell you that um, the, this vehicle came to us much sooner than we anticipated. Um, the plan was, as you guys uh, who follow the channel will know, that uh, I had the Bronco. Um, that was never going to be a long-term vehicle. The plan was always to fix it up, use it, and sell it. Um, so we got to the end of summer. We got to the end of uh, camper season, and it was time to think about selling the Bronco. And we were going to sell the Bronco, and then we were going to sell the Explorer, and I know, I'm, I'm sorry, a lot of you guys are going to be disappointed in that. Um, it is going to be up for sale pretty soon. Um, we were going to sell the Explorer, and we were going to buy Mrs. HSW, a new vehicle, and we'd been looking kind of at those, trying to think about what we were going to do, and I was going to continue working on the Jeep, which I still like, I still have. I was going to do the axle swap, uh, work on the suspension, drive that until spring, sell that, and then get myself a new vehicle. Well, um, we were looking at um, we were looking at a lot of Toyotas. Um, I'll be honest. We were looking at some other stuff too, but um, this popped up, and basically, long story short, we decided we needed this specific one. Um, I posted the Bronco up for sale, as you guys know. Um, two days later, it was gone, and I did in fact have this the day before the Bronco left. I had verbal agreement to sell it, but I had already picked this up because it was uh, a very good deal in my opinion. So, um, let's, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you a couple things that I've done to it and a couple things that, uh, the videos that I've made so you know what's coming and uh, we'll just kind of wrap this video up. We'll keep it short and sweet. Um, one of the first things I did is I met, I tinted the front two windows to match the back. It's like 30%-ish. Um, we'll hop inside here. Um, I went ahead and installed a double din uh, radio. The other, the factory one actually was pretty good, but I, first world problems, I've become used to Bluetooth and having USB in and stuff, so um, I've done a Pioneer head unit here. I'll link the head unit and the install kit and the wiring that I used to um, keep the factory controls. Um, I also uh, installed this uh, panel here that uh, this is USB direct to the stereo and then that's a charger. Um, I also put a dual charger down here. Um, other than that, that's really all of the, uh, I don't know, kind of cosmetic creature comfort stuff that I've done to it. Um, if we walk around front, I'm not going to pop the hood, but I did put a external uh, trans cooler in it. That is a full video um, that I have coming. And um, although, as you can see, this thing is super clean. I mean, yes, it's got some scratches and stuff, but as far as rust and body work, it's super clean. Um, being in eastern Iowa, we do use salt, so the underneath was a little crusty, um, definitely not rotten, but I wanted to keep it clean. So what I ended up doing was uh, rust prevention and rust correction. Um, we'll just kind of leave it at that. And I've got a full video of all the extensive stuff that I did to the bottom of it, um, so I'm really happy about that. It had running boards on it. I took the running boards off. 
Um, and as you can see, yes, it's an SR5 four-wheel drive. But again, we'll get into the full like specs later. Um, so I've I've already bought parts for it. <laughs> you guys know me. Um, so I, I kind of I don't know. It's an interesting direction. I think kind of on the build that I'm going to do with this. Um, we did pull the camper with it uh, a few times, and it was fantastic. So um, everybody that's you know saying oh you should have had a v8 and stuff you know because i hit the bronc got a v8 obviously explorers got a v8 hey trust me we're going to talk about that all um coming up in a couple of videos so i'm really excited about this um and i'm really excited to start building it and sharing it with you guys and yeah that's i mean there it is i, I can tell you that you know i love it i like it a lot um it's my favorite vehicle that i've ever owned so far and that's, you know, that's saying quite a bit. So, um, yeah, it, uh, God, I, I want to talk so much more about like the whys and, and stuff, but I got to save that for later. So, um, I will cut it here. Um, I'm not exact. This is going to come out around Christmas. So if it's on Christmas, before Christmas, and I don't talk to you guys, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a happy Hanukkah. I hope you have a joyous Kwanzaa whatever you celebrate i celebrate christmas so i say merry christmas um enjoy your families uh and enjoy your rigs hope you get lots of awesome parts for your rigs and um if you haven't already make sure to click out all of my links uh for merch hats uh hoodies t-shirts i've got some more stuff coming um i'm gonna have an online store and it's gonna be easier just some things that I've been working on because I enjoy making that stuff so be looking out for that and um, feel free to comment below what should I do with this why should I have not bought this what should I have bought instead do you guys love it do you hate it um, email me hawkeye skunkworks at gmail.com and a lot of you guys have been taking me up on that I really appreciate that asking me questions about uh, all of the vehicles in the Hawkeye skunkworks garage so um, I Anybody who's emailed me, you know that I email back, I comment back, and I love interacting with you guys. So thank you again. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notifications button if you haven't already. That helps out me funding stuff like this for you guys to, to enjoy um, a lot, actually, just by doing that. So uh, thank you again for checking us out, and we will see you soon. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you.